What is up everybody, Monster Jeff Fanatic here, and today we went out to, I'd say, four stores, and we got a lot of stuff today. We went to a collectible store. If you guys did not see my last video, Mac Bulldog Mac, you may know him, he did join us for this in-store. You could hear a bit of a point of view from my um, side of the in-store, and he will be uploading his. Um, this will probably be up Monday, and his will probably be up Tuesday or Monday, I'm not sure. We are going to be going through all the things that I got today. I got 20 uh, trucks, but 22 monster trucks all together. The extra two is a rev truck in a muscle machine i'll just get those out of the way um these are actually the only two stuff that i got at the collectible store and if you watch my last video you know what i mean here is the muscle machine i think they're called muscle machines this was really dusty and i put it in the water and cleaned it up and it looks a lot better and shinier now but this is called mummy decent design on it i don't know what year it was made the writing on it is really small and i didn't really care enough to like look really closely so i just got it because it was at the bottom of a bin for like three dollars so i thought it'd be worth it because i'd actually don't i actually don't have one of these so definitely pick it up because it looked really awesome so for the second thing that i got another mint truck was this 2001 rev treads it says 2000 metal ink at the bottom so i'm assuming this came out in 2002 because that's how it usually works out so this is i'm gonna say a 2001 king crunch and it even runs fine and for five dollars i had to get it because you don't see that a lot um so there is the king crunch now i'm gonna show you a few trucks that i got from a buddy there are four trucks here there are two that i really have been wanting and two that are just eh. so here are the two that like eh, are Eh. this one i actually did kind of want to be honest but it's still a eh. it's just a mud tread variant but this is the red grave digger i actually don't see too many people with this but tell me if you guys have this in the comments below and then this is actually a truck that i actually had but i messed the truck up when i body swapped with it i used the truck that i had for a body swap and it's in decent condition the wheels aren't wobbly at all there's only one truck that uh, have wobbly wheels and this is it this is the only truck that's actually in pretty bad condition there's a pretty big paint chip right there and then the the wheel bearings are kind of rusty I tried to clean it up a little, but it still doesn't look that bad. It still kind of looks pretty rough, but it still is pretty awesome because I actually have the small hub version of this, so now I have the big hub and small hub version. It's totally fine. It doesn't really matter as long as I have the truck. And then a truck that I've been wanting for like ever is the 2010 War Wizard. I like the 2008 one, so I'm very happy to get the 2010 one now. That looks amazing. Now we'll move on and review the, the eight small hub moss trucks that Mac Bulldog Mac gave me. So we're going to start off, clear these out here. We're going to start off with the small hub predator this thing looks really awesome i don't have any of the old predators the ones with like the blue like outlines and the orange roll cages even the big hub i don't have that one so this is a really awesome truck to have in my collection very glad i can join on uh, my collection next up is one of my favorites that i got this is the dragon slayer i'm not showing this in any particular order i'm just showing whatever i see first on, um next to me because i have all the trucks next to me here so here is dragon slayer really awesome truck once again um this is a hummer style truck and i have the sergeant smash i personally like the dragon slayer a lot more um so we're gonna move on to the next one this is the black and yellow wolverine well black silver and yellow wolverine instead of the black and yellow one and this one looks really really awesome i really want that one too i actually do need the black and yellow small hub though but i have that one so that's really awesome and then we actually have eight so here's the fourth one this is the small hub bounty hunter this one had wobbly back wheels but it was so easy to fix it wasn't even a big deal fixed in like two seconds so i've always wanted one of these older bounty hunters even if it was the big hub one uh same with predator so i'm so glad to finally get this very awesome looking truck let's put that to the side here and now that we're halfway done this is probably my favorite truck that i got out of the eight for mac bulldog mac if you are not subscribed to the guy please go subscribe to him link in my description we went to a lot of stores if you did not watch my last video which for the millionth time i suggest watching it was a pretty awesome video there's vet king very awesome small hub here's another one of my favorites that i got um i didn't really think this truck was all that until i saw it in real life this is the small hub backdrop now i have plenty of backdrops but this one's actually awesome very very awesome truck as you can tell i'm not really going into detail too much because we have quite a few trucks to look at after this we have eight more trucks to look at here is the small hub grave digger i actually did not have this the only problem with this truck is that it has a few paint chips on the back right there but not a big deal there and then here is tough enough awesome awesome truck so let's get to the final eight truck before we get to the real 164 scale monster trucks if you guys saw the end store you saw that i went to walmart and me and mac bulldog mac picked through the mix two minis and we actually found the gold megalodon chase piece so um, i'm correct this should be the chase piece because it says number 22 according to monster Demo cd's codes that is the gold megalodon so let's take it out of the the baggie or whatever and oh i see some gold i see some reflectance of the gold and it is it is the gold megalodon check that out these are pretty awesome i honestly 
I really do like these, so that's why I'm getting them all. I have four out of the 12 of Mix 2 now. I have all the Mix 1. I have both gold trucks already, so I'm not really sweating it because I know my Series 2 will be all over soon enough. There is the gold Megalodon. Now, let's take a look at the eight Spin Masters that we have for you guys today. We have the whole Mix 3 here to review for you guys of the Dirty to Cleans. If you are not familiar with my uh, review videos or at least Dirty to Clean videos, I don't usually actually put it in water and make and show you like the clean version because chances are I've probably already reviewed the clean version aka just the normal version of the truck so I don't see any point I think it's cool just looking at the dirty version and moving on it's quicker as well and I'm not wasting your guys' time as much and I think that is a win-win honestly so without further ado let's take a look at the first one this is probably the most underwhelming of the four packs this is the red grade digger versus the grave digger the legend I love these retro packs. I think they made a review of the steel packs of these two trucks as well. I, I could be wrong. It could have been Red Gravedigger and Gravedigger, but I'm pretty sure it was these two. But like I said, I could be wrong. Here's the Red Gravedigger. Obviously, they have like the ride truck style roll cages from like the 90 kind of style. But these also go on the ride trucks. That is really awesome. It's actually not that dirty as you guys can see. Unless it's like really that hot in my room. It is pretty hot in my room. But it is really not that dirty on the truck. Same with Grave Digger the Legend. I mean, it has the brown roll cage. They all have the brown roll cages, but not that dirty. I love the beefy tires, like the old Good Wrench. I think these are Good Wrench. What are these? Flotation 23. So I guess they're not Good Wrench, but I'm just going to call them that. Blue rims on the Legend, and then red rims on the Red Grave Digger, the original one. Very, very awesome. Let's move on to the next pack. This is the Battle of the Mutts. Here is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Let's take these out of the package. All right, so Monster Mutt Dalmatian, you can tell there's a little bit of dirt on it, finally. That actually looks really nice. We have the, the red wheels as well, the brown chassis, then black roll cage. I think that looks good, the black roll cage. If they did a brown roll cage, I think that'd be really tacky, so I'm glad they didn't do it. Take a look at the dust. It almost looks like dust instead of dirt, but it does look really cool. I mean, my trucks already have dust naturally as it is. I don't really need to be buying dust themed trucks, really. I kind of have them already, but it's all good. I like I like collecting the variants, guys. So here is the Monster Mutt Rock Riler next. This is a, a little dirty. You can kind of tell it's a little rough, but other than that, it's not too bad. It has like orangish wheels. Pretty awesome. So those are the two Mutts. Now for the third pack out of the four that we have here, we have the Racing Stripes taking on Son of a Digger. Now, I didn't really think they'd be making a racing stripes for the dirty cleans, but I guess I was wrong. And you can actually noticeably like see like all the dirt on it, which is really awesome. I guess the white trucks, you can, it brings out the dirt the most, I guess. And like I said, it is pretty hot in my room. So maybe it's just already like clean because you dip it in hot water and it cleans it up. So since it's hot in my room, that kind of makes sense. But it's not that hot. I, at least I wouldn't think it is, but whatever. We have the white wheels and the tires are almost this brownish. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's actually on all of the trucks. I don't know if you guys can really pick it up it's like a brownish like maybe even a grayish honestly but they're not full out black but here is the racing stripes body you can see it's kind of it kind of has like a, a thin layer of dirt on it definitely and then son of a digger you can see where it's supposed to be dirty you can see the texture on it that's where it's supposed to be dirty but i guess it's a little warm in my room so it's not going to really show it as as well as it probably could so i apologize for that but like i said it doesn't really matter i've already reviewed the clean versions before so now we're taking a look at the final two pack which i believe is the best out of this mix and this mix honestly wasn't that good compared to the last mix like the last mix like mix two that we had was actually really good we had calavero thunderbuzz green ghost gravedigger it was a really good case but this is actually a pretty cool two pack right here we have the soldier fortune black ops and the blackout max D. Let's take these out of the package and take a quick look at them. And check these out. We'll take a look at Soldier Fortune Black Ops first. You can see the flakes on the trucks, like I said, where it's supposed to be dirty, like right there. You guys can see that. The texture is pretty awesome, very different. So not really gonna go into any anything else on the Soldier Forge Black Ops other than it does have black wheels as well. So we do have the Black Doubt squad coming in deep here. And then here's the Blackout Maxi. I absolutely love this casting. Even though I saw it in stores a million times when Mix 9 was were like shelf warmers, including this truck right here. I still can't get over it because it's a very awesome truck. I even just got the minis recently the other day from Mix 2. I just didn't make a video on it. I actually got the yellow El Toro Loco Calavera and the Max D Blackout from Mix 2. I just didn't feel like making a video on it. I kind of want to get the full mix before I review them all. So once I find the other eight, I will definitely make a review video on the minis. But take a look at my little mess, guys. These are all the trucks that I got just in one day within 12 hours. Take a look at that, all the plastic wrap. 
there it is guys so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash that like button had an awesome day today collaborating with mac belong mac and meeting a buddy of mine very awesome can't forget the rev tread here dang that thing looks so mint so thanks for watching once again hope you guys enjoyed if you guys are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing i would really appreciate it and with that said i'll see you guys in the next video peace out